Phillips and Trooper Phillips, we're here at the African Marketplace. Can you tell us a little bit about it, the history, how long you've been here, what the uh, Buffalo Soldiers are, and so on? Well, uh, we are the, the, called the group called the New Buffalo Soldiers, and we've been part of the African Marketplace for about four or five years. Uh, our group has been in existence since 1992, and we've gone around doing parades, and we also do uh, museum presentations, high school, college, college presentations, and we go as far north uh, as Fresno in California, and we've gone as far northeast as uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, Logan, Utah area, and we've gone as far east as New Mexico, so called New Mexico. What was your most receptive place that you went? Well, actually, Utah. Is that right? Utah, they do, they do a festival and they really, you know, roll out the carpet for us and they like the fact that we drive our horses because we are a private, we're a non-profit organization and we, we have our own horses and our own trailers and we tow all the way to Utah and when we get there, they kind of like roll out a little carpet for us and some of the city dignitaries come out and the people are there, uh, very, are very supportive of what we're doing and they really like, really like to see us uh, perform and uh, do a presentation and dance. Okay, and what do you think, I mean, is it mandatory for every one of you to be able to ride, <laughs> by the way? Well, well, I see all the, the horses and the kids, which is a great thing, but do you guys have to ride? Well, what we do here with the kids is, you know, we're, we're here with, for the kids to help give them rides and to give them some exposure to, you know, the equestrian era and, of course, the Buffalo Soldier. Uh, our group, yeah, it's just necessary that a person at least have some interest, some ability to ride, and a desire to ride and have a horse. Very, very important to do that because the Buffalo Soldiers were a cavalry unit. Let's, you know, let's talk a little bit about that. What does that mean to, let's say, me as an African-American, what does the, uh, the tradition of Buffalo Soldier, now the new Buffalo Soldier, what does that mean? Well, the, the Buffalo Soldiers were enacted in 1866, okay? We had four consolidated, four consolidated units of all black troops, 9th and 10th Cavalry, 24th and 25th Infantry. And they were consolidated, that was consolidated. What state was that in? That was uh, out of Fort Davis, uh, Texas, Texas, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Okay. Where the 9th and 10th Cavalry came out of there. All right, go ahead. Once the Buffalo Soldiers began patrolling an area, you know, from, say, New Mexico all over to 9th and 10th Cavalry from New Mexico all the way over to California, up into uh, Utah, uh, Colorado area, Oklahoma area. Uh -huh. Those were the areas that the Buffalo Soldiers actually patrolled. And what it meant was that the Buffalo Soldiers patrolled and protected rail railroad stations, uh, uh, stagecoaches. They also uh, protected uh, the building of the telegraph wires and so forth so that people would be able to actually communicate. And they protect actually, the telephone wire. You know, I hadn't realized. The building of the telegraph I guess that was important. Very important for communication. Okay, and so where can we find a little more about you? You have like a non-profit website or something? Well, we are a non-profit organization. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, one more question before we go. You mentioned that you've been over at Dorsey doing this before. What do you think the difference is between the overall, not just as it affects you, but did you think it was a better affair there or here? Well, I know that there was a lot more room over at Dorsey than at Dorsey. And here, this seems to be a bit more confined. So, as far as we're concerned, with the horses, we like the extra, the extra space. And I know that the, the people there had more space to do things in. And then when we would make, uh, put on a performance, it was in a performance in a larger area that was, you know, very safe. This is not large enough for us to put on our normal performance. I got but you. we enjoy working with the kids. <laughs> All right, look, thank you very much for your time. All right.